Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done dealing with a real big scumbag of a person, and uh, also had met up with Judy a little bit. So, now we're moving on to more side jobs, because, hey, any way to make money, right? And boy, do I need money. Maybe not all of it, but a good majority of it. And any chance I get, I will be taking it. So, onward we go. My headset's a little loud. Turn it down a little. There we go. Whoop -doo. And, whoop. okay, we turn left now. Nicer to have a little bit more warning than that, but here we are. Okay. This side job is an organized crime one, and it's fairly low danger, so I figured eh, it might be worth it. And cut the corner there. And then here we are. Okay, so the organized crime seems to be right here, and of course a bunch of cars are in my way. That's to make it just slightly more annoying that way. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported at corner of Drake and Cartwright. Tiger Claw gang members suspected of armed robbery and extortion are at the scene. Leader is Mokomichi Yamada, aka Motorboy. Motor boy. Cities put up a reward for the removal of Yamada and his accomplices from the area. Fair enough. Breach protocol, that ought to be easy. So easy one, two, and then bam. Makes it easy for the rest. And this one, wow, still resistant to shocks, huh? Well. Okay. Interesting. Well, well, time to go loud. Luckily, it's pretty easy to go loud. Got you. Got you. Hi. Ow. Okay. Got you. Perfect. Got you. This is just going to be way too easy. Okay. Whoop. Time for me to heal up a little. Oh boy. Got you. Okay, time to Got you And We done Did I save y'all I want to say I did Look dapper as hell, man Okay Just gonna Take your stuff Sorry. Couldn't get to in time. In fact, there's a lot of them I probably couldn't get to in time. Because I didn't know that there was going to be shenanigans here. But, now that it's done. can move on. Alright, um. BD55. One C. I figured I wouldn't be able to get the other one. Uh, here's what it is. Get all of this stuff 
all of the junk. This one was probably going to be the hardest one if I did not just outright unload on them. Crafting spec unity, huh? Well, at least I can make a uh, higher class unity. Heads up. Our guy from the market in Little China says something's up. Stall keepers decided they don't need our protection after all. Want to take things into their own hands. You gotta prove them wrong. Get them back in line. Yeesh. That's messed up. Just making sure all of them are dead. Well, at least the ones I'm shooting at. Ah, man. What a mess. What a mess. So, so much you can do, though. So much you could do. Titanium boost net menpo. It is pretty good. Bonus damage against high threat and moderate threat enemies. That would be nice. Notice. Tigers should be here tomorrow to collect. Apparently, motherfucking Mokomichi's gonna tag along. Get ready. Everyone, every stall needs a heavy weapon. When I go talk to them, I'll make a scene. You surround them. We'll outnumber them. Take them by surprise. And we'll see how sharp their claws are. Well, apparently, sharp enough. Because, uh, I'm assuming not everyone made it out of here. Not everyone made it out of this. They tried. They valiantly tried. I'll give them that. Alright, anyway. Since that's all done and over with, I guess I'll just take what I can take and get out of here. Probably for the best. Ah, oh, boy sure I get everything. <laughs> and then I'll have to sell it all at that drop box over there. Why are you still here? Go. Go, dude. There's no reason for you to be here anymore. I did everything necessary to help you. Alright. Now it's time for selling shenanigans. Wahoo! Part 5 at this point? Nah, I've done it enough times. I'll be back. Alrighty, selling done, and now I guess we go to that side mission over there that I had opened up the whole time. Okay, I'm just making sure this one's dead. Okay, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. And I guess I head up here. And then... I was about to say, why was it telling me to go that way? It's just a simple run this way. We'll do the same job, if not we'll do it better. Sorry. Don't have the time. Have missions to complete. 
All right, run on over here. I've run across that same child at least five times. <laughs> this run over to here. All right. Across here. Across the street. Good. Ooh. Okay. Well, you know what? Time to get the bike involved. And it's probably going to get stopped by this traffic right here, because... Screw you guys. Hello. Hello, bike. It's telling me to go this way, so this way I go. Make it a little faster, I'm sure. Sorry. Didn't mean to pull that stunt. Alright. This is the stunt I meant to pull. Down this way. Oh boy, this is gonna be downhill. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Got word of a cyber psycho attack. All confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. Okay. You ask me, Psycho's got to be one of theirs. My Eddies are on Lieutenant Mower. Oh. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Okay. Fair enough. This gun lives. Okay, so all I know is that a cyber psycho attack was reported to Max Tech. But Militech elbowed in and took over, probably because it was one of their own. A woman named Mower, Mauer, serving in Militech's elite division. Be careful, all right? Okay. Orders. Code red. Target Lieutenant Mauer. Threat level critical. Target. Dis blah, 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 blah. Target presents symptoms of cyberpsychosis. Result of telephone consultation with physician negative. Treatment impossible. Target is located at attached coordinates and waiting for paramedics to arrive. Surprise attack possible. Warning, target is armed with military-grade combat implants. Highest caution is advised. Upon neutralization of threat, send report via encrypted channels. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I guess the word for it. Lieutenant Maurer is right there. Sorry. Oh, geez. Woo. You are difficult to nail down, I swear. Woo. I think I just did it, though. Just barely, but I did it. Oh, boy. Well... She definitely nixed to these guys real quick. In fact, I managed it when they couldn't is crazy. Wait, what? Oh, there's more in there. That's right. That makes sense. Just making sure there's nothing else in this little battlefield that I can pick up. Nope, nothing. Didn't necessarily mean to do it that way, but okay. Knuckles, thermal damage. Extended berserk. Bounce back. Some eddies. And archived conversation with Dr. Martin, Saipura, and her. Code red, code red. Copy. Read in the biomon. Describe your symptoms. Convulsions, cramps, can't shut off my implants, aggression. Understood. Biomon data suggest an inevitable loss of control. Soon. Oh my god. Please no. Don't call Max Tech. I just need some downers is all. Of course. Don't worry. Militech takes care of its own. By trying to kill them. Head to this address. It's an out of the way place. You won't be able to hurt anyone there. Our paramedics come get you and take you to a clinic. You'll be back to normal in a couple days. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. You look out for the corp. The corp looks out for you.
dude. They were about to just murk her outright. At least I'm assuming that's the case. Whoa, these are way higher level than I expected they would be. 22? Jesus. All right. Damn. Okay. Um. I. I prefer having this, but. Uh, I'd rather wait until I can pull the mods off of it, and that's further down the crafting tree that I can pull mods off of things without destroying the mods in the process. Okay, I'll just hold on to this for a little while longer. Why am I... Oh, uh, because it was... <laughs> That's why. I was wearing this, but then I hit the wrong button and I equipped the Psycho Tank Top, I guess. Think Maelstrom gets any royalties for this? Well, I don't know about that. But all I know for certain is I ain't wearing it. I prefer the look of this suit, honestly. I prefer the look of it. Uh, if only I could keep it that way. Makeshift Rabinda Ben... ben <laughs> wow, that's a bit of a, a tongue twister there. Makeshift Rabinda Banana Bandana. <laughs> it even smells a little fruity. Fucking hell. Try to say that ten times fast. Makeshift Rabinda Banana Bandana. Rabinda Banana Bandana. <laughs> Uh, even sounds silly. Alright. There we go. Good. Oh yeah, that's right. I picked up the Unity spec for that. I forgot about that. I completely forgot. Okay. Well, that's done. Um, oh, almost missed these. Alright. And now I go to my backpack to have one of those food things. Oh, I didn't even know I picked up a locust pepperoni pizza. It'll swarm your taste buds. Oh, shut up with that pun. Uh, I, I guess it's okay. Uh, eat one of those just to get my health up. Good enough. And we're good. And I guess I still got to send that info to, uh, where? Regina. There we go. That was not the button I meant to hit. See you around. Bye, V. Remember, the media lies. Yeah. No, I remember that. Okay. So... Regina, open messages. Cyber psycho sighting, Lieutenant Mower. Okay, hey, sending you the data I got from the Militech woman. Turns out she was in the corpse special unit. Clearly, she felt something was seriously wrong and put out a call for help. But instead of help, Militech sent in the hit squad. Preem, sending you a ride. I managed to extract some more data about her, but not much. You know how it is with Militech. Get too nosy and they start sending you death threats. Looks like Maurer was chipped with experimental combat implants. Maybe there was some glitch in the code that made her snap? I'll look into it. Thanks again. Money's already on its way. Well, I did the thing and I did it good. That's all I can ask for. Alright. Time to move on. Job complete. Oh, where am I going? Going towards that thing. Um, meet with Takamura. Yeah, might as well do that. Another meeting with Takamura. And I might pick up this uh, thing on the way. Wait, what? There we go. That was weird. Alright. Well, time to take that path, because that's the path 
That'll lead me to both of them. Oh. Oh. Okay, well. There's some assault in progress over here. Might as well take care of it. Although, not with that. Be nice if I can hit something. Jesus. I'm so bad. I'm doing something illegal. What do you mean I'm doing something illegal? Oh, because that guy's right behind them. No wonder. That would count as illegal if I'm pointing the gun at them. Especially if they do nothing. Alright. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. Jotaro and Hiroto. Alright, got some deets for the NCPD boys. We know who's talking. It's Evan Flakes. Know him, boss. That's the gonk at Stall 13. Thing is, gonk's gone. So send some people after him. Check his pad, check his family. Come on, you know the drill. Also got that warehouse. Check that too. Make it a fucking spectacle. Word's gotta get around. Sure thing. Okay, well, that explains why they were here. Oh, and the guy's gone. I was going to check if that was a guy in particular they were talking about. Well, so much for doing that. Just to make sure everyone's super dead. Yeah, everyone's super dead. Okay. Cool. And grab all of these, for sure. Grab that. Rare upgrade components. That. Ooh. Grab this, for sure. Um... Okay. I think I have a way to do this. I think. Maybe. One C, E nine, one C, fifty five, one C, B D. Perfect. <laughs> Told you I could do it. All right. Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff there. The overture. Hello. And then there's this stuff here. But let's grab all of this. Send a Sandivistan prototype chip. It's a mod for the Sandivistan. Okay. Weak spot detection. Increases critical chance. Nice. Evan Flakes and Martha Flakes. Okay. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I trusted that cop. Anna Hamill. Promised me protection if I spilled about Biz and Kabuki Market. Fuck! Evan, I told her everything! Why? Now the NCBD, NPCD, I'm assuming it's supposed to be NCPD, won't protect me. Said the funds are there for it, that she's sorry. Tigers will have my head because of the fucking NCPD. They're gonna kill me, Martha. They know! I'm dead! You naive leadhead. Go to the port in Wells Springs. You'll help me? Quit wasting time, dipshit. Just go. Thank you, thank you. Can't find me in town if I'm on a boat instead. Well. That is technically true. For some reason, it didn't want to let me pick that up. That was weird. Alright, anyway. Uh, that is taken care of. And... Pick up everything else that's around the area. I don't see why not. Ooh, another Nui. Not any better than the one I got, but... Wait, is it? Is it? Didn't really pay attention to the stats. Maybe it is. The Overture is. No, this one isn't. Okay, that's fine. And then break that down in the Overture. Yeah, break this one down too. Cool. Alright. We'll sell all of these later. What well, was here? 
all of these. Okay, cool. I didn't realize I had all of these new things. The Pax renders your weapon non-lethal, allowing you to damage your enemies without killing them. That's nice. Increased damage to limbs. Not necessarily something I need. Okay. Call that good. Head stuff. Nope. Mask stuff. Well, these I've already been holding on to for a while. The other stuff isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. Okay. All right. That's taken care of. And I get out of here. At least until I get to a drop box and then I'll sell all the other crap I've picked up. Actually, you know what? No, I'll do that once I get... I was pretty sure I was heading Stand in the right here. direction. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Oh, Where this was the direction. That's right. To find the answer, check out the latest book from Richard Sanchez titled Promo Sapiens. In a nutshell, okay. according to Sanchez, humankind can never be fully automated because of, quote, all our damn brain chemistry. I wonder if this bestseller has made the Maelstrom Book Club's reading list. Maybe. All right, now I'm on the highway. Looking for adventure. Okay, whoop. Okay. There we go. Heading into Japan Town. Perfect. All right. I'm assuming. This is where I need to stop off at. Yeah, I can just head down here from these steps. Oh! Me. That was unintentional. Ow! Okay. Well. Aha! Odd graffiti. The Hierophant. Interesting. Interesting. I'm kind of curious if there's anything back here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, wait. Never mind. Got some money there. Not a lot, but some. Better than none. Alright. Time to talk to Takamura and his contact, which would be coming over here, I think. <sighs> Gotta wait. Some time later. It's good to see you, B. Seems pretty uh secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? We're close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money and dignity. Look well. Wait, your implants were shut off too? It is Jeez. not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Well, that's good. At least helps your uh, plan of revenge. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Oda. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Okay. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Hello. Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. Well, that's also a fair point. Like, uh, uh, a good sign. He's usually camouflaged. Well, that's good. I guess. And they knocked over a barrel on their way over here. All right. Oh, I'm just sitting on the ledge here. Okay. Well, hello. Takemura-san. 
Yoda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, B. Can't speak for myself, you know. Yeah. So speak. I have been told you know things. Yep. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. B, you can trust Oda. Okay. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence. Choking. Not one word more. Okay. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off until you can get straight to your inabu Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. You cannot Oda. be... Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Well, that went shit. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas. On the hem. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? Yeah. What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance. Perhaps, if, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. Okay. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all night city. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. Well, I do know just the dame. No, just the fixer dame. Okako Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Well, and... Oh shit, not good. Relics malfunctioning. Joy of joys. <laughs> I just phased through the door. All right. JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> just a night city name. Beware! You mock me too often. Well, I don't intentionally do that. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Interesting. You alright, Goro? Yes. 
why the Sadu Kosa? Have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well, as you can see. You should worry about yourself. Yeah, if you say so. All right. I could just ride this out, or I could skip the ride. I honestly want to just skip the ride entirely. Especially since nothing else interesting will probably happen until we get there. So, here we are. Time to get out. Are we going to eventually park here, girl? There we go. Time to get out. And the doors didn't make any noise whatsoever. Go to Wakako. All right. And there we go. Just got to follow Guru. I'm in a hurry. Sorry. Hey, girl. Not right now. Sorry. Here we are. Mm, how I miss the sun. All right. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who jumped your team. But the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, hello. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro this. Okada-san. Ah, a true gentleman. Oh boy. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. Well. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. True. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. Mm-hmm. So tell me, and mark well, I still have my phone at hand. True. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. Mm-hmm. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. That was all that was necessary. Good, Cause you would then have to join him. Uh, of course. Okada-san. Our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. That's fair. Alright. 
Ain't gonna turn down free. Japan Town. Mm. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Mm -hmm. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Mm -hmm. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Of course. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Gotcha. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner. One at least. One net runner. They use okay. the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. Okay. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. Sounds about right. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon. Won't I? True. One way or another, it'll be news all over. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Why not Okada? Why not Okada-sama? Huh? Huh? If you're gonna be that, if you're gonna be that kissing her I boots. Were you? Were you now? Because I thought you were done. Okay, talk to Takamura. A delightful, mature woman. Yeah. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. True. Be safe. Be. I am pretty famous. Or infamous. One of those. Alright. We have followed this avenue down as far as it'll go. Go to the afterlife. Really? That's the next one? I don't know about that one. Um, Tracking down Hellman. Okay. Down on the street is waiting a day for Takamura's call. Okay. Could continue automatic love. Could do that. But I kind of want to see. Okay, I can't really do any of the beat on the brats yet. Um, the Glen. A lot of those, I don't know how close they would be. Let me check the map real quick. Um, who knows what you might find. Some of these are just way too high for me to do. Um, not that. I'm sure one of them couple of them got to tell me. Oh. Oh. Dirty Fred stash. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot. Okay. Well, I got to head back over there to get that taken care of. Because there is no way in hell I'm missing out on that at all. Alright. And get Jackie's arch. Oh, come on. It's all the way up there. Damn it. Sorry. Didn't mean to run into you. Alright, time to go. Whee! Um, that looks good. 
Yeah, there we go. That's the music I'm looking forward to. That's not the button I meant to hit. Okay, well, I need to go into the stash anyway, so might as well do that. Uh, put that away and that away, if for no other reason than to have them handy for later. Uh, don't need those, don't need those. Uh, okay, I think that does everything I needed. I meant to handbrake, forgetting that there's no handbrake button. <laughs> so I went with what my brain remembered as a handbrake for other games. Oh, you little bastard. You little shit. All right. Well, it didn't completely throw me off the bike, so there's that. I had to be But there was a simpler way. There had to have been a simpler way just to get onto this. Uh, well, oh well. It is what it is. I'm on the right path, and that's all that matters. Okay. Head off here. And then we take the right. Woo, okay. And we're there. Damn, that was fast. Well, about as fast as I could hope for. Oops, sorry. Jeez. Uh, I think I know how to get up there. It involves that for sure. But how do I get up there is the question. There, Maelstrom, okay. Probably not going to care much if you see me doing this. Or maybe they are. Yeesh. All right. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Did it. Steel pipe. And a blood pump. Activate to instantly restore 60% of max health. Jesus. Why would I ever use a max stock at that point? That's beautiful. All right. Anyway, now that I've done that, uh, we can head over to Mega Building H8, which is a ways away. Oh, wait. Since I need to do inventory management again anyway, I'll just stop here. But we are also a little over time, so I'm going to end the episode as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and doing our damnedest to get ahead in the story while also making sure I make enough scratch on the side because... Well, we're always going to need more equipment and more money to buy said equipment. And also, there's a whole bunch of other shenanigans I need to deal with. But, soon enough, we won't need to worry about any of that and we'll just go straight down the story. It'll take a while, though. So, sorry. For you! <laughs>